That's pretty simple. Tail Grizz will tell you can get the code to his fortress. We need to get in there if we're going to stop him. You shouldn't have any trouble finding him since he's tagged with the homing darts. Just follow the signal. We probably didn't even need the darts. He's kind of hard to miss. Okay, he's on the move, Sly. Stay close so I can pull the data we need off his phone. And don't underestimate him. He's no lightweight. <laughs> It ain't your biz. My name is the Grizz. You see, I'm hairy and scary and all of that stuff. Get the heck out of my way or I'm gonna get rough. Work. Gonna make me a fortune. I'm the greatest around. All I gotta do is plant my art in the ground. Trying to run some kind of game on the Grizz? I'm tired of you telling me to walk the line straight when you walking it all crooked. Yeah, that's right. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no, no. That ain't the deal we had. Nuh-uh, no. I got you the cane that that big old hairy dude made. Now you need to hook me up. Hook me up, yeah. Hold, hold, hold up, I'm losing signal. Hold up, I said I'm losing signal. I said I... Hold on. I can't... Hold on. You catch that, Bentley? Yeah, sounds like he's talking to La Paradox, and there's trouble. Don't lose him. You got the Grizz? Live at large with a brush. Don't step on my canvas, because you'll just get crushed. canvas I just paint on the wall nobody give me static cuz I'm better than y'all you there good now listen up the eggs are running out here but I need to keep my paint production going so I need you to find me the resources what well, I don't know you know like uh chickens Turkey, ostriches, carrot, frog. How would I know? Just make it happen, man. What? Oh, uh, man, hold on. I, I, I gotta find some reception. I gotta find some. Hold up. Man. No. Oh, hold on. Bentley, why don't we have a phone like that to talk to Dimitri? You really want Dimitri calling you? Good point. Forget I asked. What's that? Oh, come on now. I scratched your stinky, stripy little back. Now you scratch mine. Not only that, I got those other crazy Cooper folks messing with my business now. So I gotta deal with that, and I don't see you giving me any help. No help. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll take care of it. Huh? Oh, oh, hold on. It's, it's the reception, man. I can't hear you. No. You can hear me, I can't hear you. You chop it. You chop it. You chop it. I, I, forget it, man. I, I, Sounds like his deal with my paradox isn't going so well. Oh, poor guy. I feel so sorry for him. Yeah, I'm crying over here. Just stay close. I'm still trying to access his phone data. So 
Oh, I'm rolling. I'm flowing. So bad it ain't fair. The Grizz will teach the paradox. Don't mess. Clive, what are you doing? We need that code. Clive, what are you doing? We need that code. I'm finding this all pretty entertaining. Yeah, it gives us an advantage if Grizz is off his gate. Now let me tell you how it is. I am an artist. I got paintings to create. And I ain't putting up with any more of your excuses. Now, you give me the eggs I need for my paint, or I climb through this phone and squeeze them out of you myself. You got that play up. Hello? Hello? Why you did that? Dang! I guess that means you didn't get the code? It does. Looks like we're back to square one. I guess the bear got away, huh? Carmelita, it's good to see you. Uh-huh. I'm only talking to you because I have some information for Bentley. I've been tailing Grizz on my own, and I have the security codes and full schematics for his mountain base. Wow. Thanks. You're welcome. So you'll get it to Bentley for me? Of course. I'm headed back to the hideout now. But wouldn't you rather hand it to him yourself? Maybe I should. After all, you're not exactly trustworthy, are you? Ouch. So, we're good, right? Don't push your luck, Ringtail. <laughs> I caught up with the ringtail to give him the intel I'd gathered on Grizz. Half of me still wanted to slap the smirk off his face, but the other half wanted to talk. Working on my own these past few days had given me time to think, and I'd realized some things. Sly may have been lying to me the whole time in Paris, but I'd lied to myself as well. In my heart, I knew something was up, but I didn't want to admit it. I wanted to believe he'd changed, that maybe I'd changed him. But Sly was who he was, and I had to accept that. Although this crazy time-traveling business had given me a new perspective on that, too. In the past, I'd always chased Sly, arriving on the scene after the fact. But now that I'd fought alongside him, with Bentley, Murray, and his ancestors, I had to admit a newfound respect. We aren't really so different. We both fight for justice. We just do it from opposite sides of the law. The question is, can I live with that? Honestly, I don't know. But for now, perhaps it's enough that I see things more clearly, and that we have a common enemy in Le Paradox. Because I am not going anywhere until I put that stinking weasel behind bars! <laughs> 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 <laughs>